Welcome, in front of me is a Realme uh, 10 Pro Plus and today I'll show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this device. Now, unfortunately for this process, we will need another device. Uh, any kind of phone that has access to Play Store will work. I'm using some Infinix for this, uh, but like I said, it doesn't really matter what you select uh, or what phone you use. Obviously, you just need to have access to it. And uh, the locked device. Now here you can see on our locked device that uh, obviously it is locked using a pattern. And if we close this, it will tell me to verify it using the Google account. So assuming we don't know either of those, we will just simply go back to this page, connect to Wi-Fi. You want to connect here to your network. Um, and once you have done so, if it goes to the next page automatically, just back out to the connect to Wi-Fi page and then select the eye icon right here. Select share nearby need help sharing. There might be some pop-ups regarding like confirming your actions. Just do so. Once you have the help page open, you're going to click on the three dots right at the top and then select share article, select messages, and then you would see page like this one. In here, just, oops, actually, I type in just random numbers. There we go. Uh, just insert any kind of numbers you want. You don't even need a SIM card in the device. It just, just put whatever you want. Confirm that and then type in your message. Now you do want to first remove this one, which is the share article that we have done. So I'm gonna select all, get rid of it. And you're gonna type in uh, youtube.com or more precisely www.youtube.com. So I will first try Okay, so if I press on this, it opens up in this pop-up view, so we do need to add the W. As you can see, when you press on this one, it just takes you to the browser or the actual application. Now in here, you're gonna select the account icon, settings, about, and then Google Privacy Policy. Now, normally when you open up uh, or when the device opens up your web browser, it will give you this like uh, accept and continue and no thanks option. So that's what you want to select. And once you have your page open, tap right here at the top and navigate to hard reset that info slash bypass. So if you need a moment to copy this, uh, just pause the video. In here, we're gonna scroll down to, uh, oh, there we go, Google search app, just select open. And from here, Gonna tap on this little mic icon, though I'm gonna first check out uh, further what we need to do, because I am new to this method. Okay, so uh, once you press on the um, uh, little uh, microphone icon, you'll need to say open the clone phone. Uh, which is uh, the Realme uh, phone clone application to move over data from one device to another. So, open the clone phone. Um, I love that clone was just completely uh, not included in there. Oops. Open the clone phone. There we go. So this time around it worked. Now in here we have permissions uh, required. So we're gonna go into settings and uh, yes, we're gonna allow this, go back. You can allow. Okay. So there we go, we allowed two different things. And from here, we're now gonna navigate into Let me quickly make sure. Um, so 
So we're just gonna select right here that this is a new device, allow, and migrate data from other Android. And that's basically ready to go. So now we're gonna lock this, we're gonna move it to the side, and go just so you can see the port as well. And we're gonna get our different device that we actually can access. Uh, you wanna navigate into your Play Store. And we're gonna search for a clone phone. Now, as you will see, there will be a bunch of them. And we're looking for this one, Oppo. It's basically the same thing. Select install. From here we're gonna open it up and we again need to allow everything that it needs access to. And it's now looking for a QR code. Now I'm gonna just make sure that we don't need to download anything here. Okay, so if I'm understanding this correctly now, we're just going to go back to our uh, unlocked device with the unlock. You just simply want to scan this QR code, so I'll hover over it. There we go. It's going to start connecting. Connect. So, as you've seen, a select start cloning. That we do want to deselect everything, though. Quickly go back. Stop. Open phone clone. Clone phone. Open clone phone. Here are phone numbers for open oh clone. Oh my goodness. Open clone phone. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Do I seriously need to say the? Open the clone phone. Apparently, uh, it doesn't really matter. Open the clone phone. Jesus. Um, okay, let's try that again. Now the reason I am redoing this is because I want to see the option to deselect everything. I don't really want to move over anything. Ah, so we basically press on the text that was, I didn't even read what it was. And in here, you're gonna deselect everything. Apparently not everything, because then we can't clone. Um, let me just quickly read up. Or, I guess it doesn't really matter, so... Like I said, I'm doing this the first time around, so here we go. Oh, 
hopefully there's not very many things to copy. Obviously, if you have some kind of applications, it would be best to deselect those. Otherwise, uh, your data moving will take significantly longer. This device had basically nothing on it, so I was just kind of copying like some rudimentary files that are in the system. So anyway, and here we're gonna select done. And here, still migrating data. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna select done. We're gonna select our gesture navigation or just any kind of navigation. As so you can see, this is already like way in, into the setup. So it kind of skipped a couple of steps by doing the migration. Um, here we're gonna select skip, done. Get started. And as you can see, this will take us to our home screen. Now from here, we're gonna simply do the last thing, which is navigate into the settings. Scroll all the way down to additional settings, backup and reset, reset phone, erase all data, erase all data, and press on this once again, which will then begin factory resetting your device. So, and this is a last step that will ensure that everything on your phone that was well previously kind of blocking you will be removed including the google account pin pattern password whatever was used on it will be completely removed when you perform a reset of the device through settings the device automatically gets rid of all the protection because it thinks that when you're doing it through settings like we are right now that you're legitimately just kind of resetting your device but obviously in our case it just removes the uh, the protection from it. So that is the last thing that you wanted to do. Now I'm not going to do it on the video just because it's fully automated. Once the device starts resetting, it just goes through the factory reset and brings you back to the setup screen of the device, at which point you can set up your phone however you want. Now with this being said, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.